D. Jamie coming at you with another FS19. You know how we do it. Let's get to it. So this one, guys, is um, it's going to be exciting. But this one is a um, role play series. Um, we are on no man's land. Okay. Uh, we just got in town. <clears throat> um, <laughs> so our backstory is there's this vast uh, piece of land that um, the government had given to us for a very cheap price as long as we put road bypass roads um, so people can from that side of the state can get through to the store without having to go all the way around uh, then come off the highway here um, so we got the land for like 5% of what it should have been <laughs> but um, with part of that deal we have to put roads in and uh, we got to keep it nice it's got to stay nice um, and that's the deal uh, so with that being said uh, let me turn my cameras Speed up here. All right. That being said, guys, yes, we have a Bugatti. <laughs> um, we do have money. Uh, we have our own construction company. So we, you know, we're we're pretty stacked, guys. Um, so I own my own construction company, and I seen the government trying to post us off to anybody that would actually put roads in and we jumped all over it guys uh, so let's hop in our Bugatti it's fast <laughs> we'll take a look see around yeah, it's pretty fast guys um, obviously this isn't what we're going to be driving around. This is what we just came into town with. Because uh, there's definitely nothing car for here. So, we are going to... Uh, yeah, I can't take her as fast as she goes. We'll be, we'll be there in two seconds. Um, we're going to head down to where we're staged at. Uh... Again, if you didn't get that from what I was saying, we own everything. Uh, we bought it all in one swoop from the government. So, uh, everything is purchased. It is all ours. And we have a Bugatti. <laughs> Alright, so, first things first, guys. Uh, our car is too fast. But first things first, we're going to come in, make sure they got all, got all of our equipment. Because uh, while we were coming into town, we had them bringing, hauling our equipment in. The equipment to get started. Uh, so what we're going to do is obviously we need buildings uh, to keep our equipment and stuff in. We have not done nothing yet. We have just gotten to town. Uh, but there is a quarry. We have a rock quarry. And we are going to go over to the quarry. And we're going to start with this road. Eventually I want to blacktop it. We do have blacktop. We have a paving machine. Uh, we have a road roller. We have it all guys. Uh, but for right now, we're going to do this gravel. We're going to get this main road done first. Um, that way, traffic can get through. So, uh, it's not a highly traveled road. You get your stragglers that come in. 
headed to the equipment store and our car is way too fast. <laughs> but here's where we're staged at, guys. Alright, so we have our low boy. I'm just going to run through here real quick, show you what we got to get started with. We got our low boy, uh, our D8, D8 screener blade for the bulldozer, caterpillar. We got our Volvo road grader, our JVC loader with the uh, dualies on the front and the back. We have a crusher bucket. We have our roller. We have our D8 bulldozer with the ripper. Um, we have our um, Volvo 740 semi. 740 G. Uh, we have our Volvo 740G uh, regular rock truck. Here is the trailer for our semi. Then we have our Volvo excavator. It's a 480E uh, with the crusher bucket on it because we're going to be crushing rocks. We're going to make our own gravel to put down for our roads. Then we have our New Holland um with the mining bucket on it uh it's set up for rocks we're gonna have to get another one that's uh for multi-purpose then we have our caterpillar 325d with a screener bucket on it uh and then we have our hitachi uh it's just on standby there's nothing on it right now all right so with that being said, let's get our Bugatti part and get right to it. Man, this puppy is fast, guys. Alright, just because I'm just because we're here and we're we're doing it, I'm gonna show you how fast she is. Matter of fact, the top speed is 260 mile an hour. If that tells you anything, but but we don't oh, we don't want to wreck it. We don't mind getting it dirty. We can clean it, but we don't want to wreck it. I guess this will be the, the, the Bugatti parking space here. Alright. Now, um, I'll take you guys over and uh, we'll show you the rock quarry. It's going to transform as we dig in it and that, so... Uh, let's get to it. Yeah, because we're going to be breaking up more rocks. And we'll head on over with the rock truck here. Uh, I got the semi, the trailer set up for just hauling rock. Uh, we might have to load some rock out from point A and take it to point B. Obviously, we don't have roads. Hey guys, here's our little rock quarry. I'm 
just let you guys take it all in. Just take it in. So we got rocks. We got some loose rocks there. We'll have to, we'll have to break some more loose. But this is what's going to get us started for uh, laying down some gravel roads, guys. We're going to lay down some gravel. Uh, like I said, in the future, after we get our farm and uh, everything established, then we will uh, start asphalting. So it's something to stick around for. Look at that. That's amazing. That is amazing. I think I might set up our little crushing sta station over here. Then we will, because uh, we got to get that main road to the store in first. So we'll set up, set up our uh, crushing station here. Then maybe we'll grab the other semi haul of rocks from over there over here and just do all of our crushing right here so let's get to it to be honest with you guys I don't know this will probably be all just set up here in this first video we'll get all this equipment out of here get it where it goes uh, maybe get us some farm buildings in. And... I don't know if I like this because my wheels aren't spinning. Ha! <laughs> Trailer ones are. I don't know, we'll try it out. I might actually, uh, there's a dump bucket at the store. I might actually just grab the dump bucket with the semi on it. Look at that view there, guys. This is going to be great. This is going to be fun, guys. I'm excited. And we bought all this land, and we're gonna make ourselves a pretty nice, uh, a pretty nice town. It's gonna to be to where people, people aren't just gonna drive through; they're gonna to want to stop. too we don't have to uh, we don't have to pay to have stone brought in we're gonna make our own yeah we dug this hole and busted up the rock so we got rock we might have to get a, grab a uh, scorpion king clear some trees out of here um, over where we're staged at that's where we're going to put our farm. And I think... Um, I think I'm going to clear some of them trees out of there too. Because not on the pond side. I'm not going to take them all out of there. Not on the pond side where the equipment's at. On this side right here. I'm going to take a few of those trees out. Um... So we can tuck our house or our main shop back in there. All right. So I don't know if I'm gonna use that for crushing that loader. I might use that loader for crushing, and then this loader for it'll be over here as the road's being built. 
It'll probably be putting the uh, materials down on the road. So. Yeah, we'll take this one. Actually. Actually, I had another loader for crushing. I haven't seen the inside of this thing yet. That's pretty nice. I actually have another loader um, for crushing because these ones here are hard to actually reach up high enough to dump into the rock truck. So I actually might end up having to go get that. But I don't know if the crusher bucket will go on it. I don't think this. Uh, no. Definitely not. Not. It doesn't go high enough. So uh, we're probably going to have to grab the other loader. So for right now, let me just park this off to the side. And we'll go ahead and get our, our uh, excavator over there. Ah, oh, this is great, guys. Um, I was retired from my construction company. It was like right there on the verge of retiring. And we came across this deal. Uh, we got money. I mean, I don't have to do this, but what else am I going to do with my retirement? Other than build our own town, because we can do that. It's great. So, guys, the um, crusher bucket for this, um, for the excavator, only goes on this excavator. So, I have no other choice but to use this excavator for it. Um, only thing I don't like, well right now it's not going on the trailer, only thing I don't like is, um, they have this particular excavator set up on, um, loader, like wheel loader controls, so I, I can't do everything with both sticks like I normally do with my bindings. Um, I can change that, but it, then it messes up. So whenever I hop out of this hop in the loader, it messes that up. So it's either I can struggle trying to load with this, or I can change the bindings and then struggle with the loader. <laughs> seeing, if, seeing how the mouse is. See if I'll be able to dig with the mouse instead. And, uh, that's not working too well. I don't want to be doing that. And yeah, we'll change the bindings once we start digging with it. It's going to be Mayor Day Day. Mayor Day Day. At your service. I just can't wait to start building these roads, guys, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited, actually. 
and we're doing it without a paint tool. We're we're actually putting gravel down, and we're actually spreading it out. Um, I might grab that D11 bulldozer too, but we're gonna be uh, actually spreading it out and rolling it in with the roller. And like I said, that our main road right there is gonna be asphalt. We're gonna change that to asphalt. See, I don't even know. I might not even put my main farm right here, to tell you the truth. Because... Eh. It's thinking because of it being a main road, but I tell you what, we'll just fence it in. Uh, maybe we'll take... Right there where the main road comes in, and we'll... We'll split it and run it off another way or something. And then we'll gate this off. We'll fence it all off. I'm sorry if it looks like crap right there. My frame rate's dropping. Like big time. And to be honest with you, uh, I thought that... I think that it might be part of uh, mods that have like extra, um, extra, yes yeah, so it'll probably just be uh, getting it all set up here. But what the thing that I'm really, uh, All those hitting the tracks there to sort of slide off. Uh, the thing that I'm really excited about, though, guys, is, and it's not even that we're just putting road actual roads in without using a paint tool or nothing. It's the part that we're actually crushing the rock. We're actually doing the rock crushing for the, you know. That's what's real exciting. That's what made me come back off retirement. Yeah, that really sucks they did these controls off of the loader instead of the uh, crane. And we're at the rock quarry. And not only are we building our own town, yeah, we're we're running our rock quarry as well. It's great. Because we're good like that. Yeah, I gotta change these bindings, but rocks are all jumping. There it is, guys. Alright, now. I feel like I'm at work. Okay, now. What do we gotta get now? We'll grab the another one of the excavators <clears throat> I was going to put it on the hut Hitachi <laughs> excuse me I was going to put it on the Hitachi uh, 
but for some reason this greeter bucket attaches to it backwards, which is weird. We get some roads and we won't be cutting through fields How about it. Oh. Just clipped that rock. I feel like I'm missing something though. Even though we got all this stuff here, I feel like I'm missing something. Hmm. I might. Oh yeah, I'm I'm thinking about grabbing another eight. And then we have a D6, I believe. We'll use the D6. Um the road grader. And maybe an eight even for spreading spreading on the roads. Um, I was actually thinking about uh, other than this main road, the other the other ones maybe plowing it first. I might have to because I don't know if the, I don't know if this grass will actually stick up through the gravel or not. So we might end up having to plow this first, guys. So, um, what else do we need over there? I'm thinking I might just take that one of them dozers over, or we'll take that dozer over, and then we'll, we'll grab another one if we need it. See, my bindings are messed up for this too because of the. Uh, the North Mining Company's uh, log loader. I had to change them for it to. I really hope this thing gets dirty. They just look more realistic when they got dirt on them. Hello. All right, we got that puppy on there. We'll get this delivered. And, I don't know, I still feel like I'm forgetting something, guys. But we will figure it out as we go. It's not the best place to be pulling a low boy into, I can tell you that. For sure. Um, now this excavator here, uh, this might actually be a problem, uh, just because it doesn't sit high enough to actually put stuff in, <coughs> into the rock trucks, but we're going to see how it works. We might have to do a little customization there with our ground to make it work. Ah. And, uh, whenever I stop the clip there, I fix the key bindings. So now, now I got nice smooth movements. I can move nice and smoothly without having, uh, you know, one one movement and then stop and hit the other buttons and do another movement and then hit, hit the buttons and do another movement. No, it's all nice, nice and smooth, guys. It's like real life. All right. Yeah, 
real life with those tracks was having a problem getting up you just jump the bucket down real quick and it would give you some traction up there long enough to uh, get up the hill. I don't know what the problem is with this bucket. Um, that's why we need the excavator sitting up higher than the truck. Because, as you're seeing right there, I mean, they just fall out. You can't, you can't get the bucket up high enough to hover over the truck without them falling out. So we definitely, if we're going to use this excavator with this bucket, it's either we're going to have to go slow like we are right now, <laughs> or we are going to have to get the uh, truck sitting up higher. Um, now there is an option to haul rock or haul anything else with this truck here. And you have to set it up to haul rock with guys if you're going to haul rock with it. For the simple fact that um, if you throw a rock in the back of the truck, it'll just fall out and hit the ground. So it has to be set up to hold, hold the rocks. Alright. so much faster than this if it wasn't for the rocks wouldn't fall out. Alright, but don't hit your truck. Uh, we're going to have to uh, see that pad up there. We're probably going to have to sit the, sit the excavator up on that or um, create a new pad for the excavator to sit on so it's sitting up higher than the truck. But we'll do something. Uh, I'll get it figured out, but in the meantime, we got that ready to go, um, get everything else set up here, <laughs> trailer did a little whip, I'm liking the way everything's turning out now guys. Uh, okay, we're going to have our own rock quarry, we're building our own town, everything's looking good, like it should. Just in case you're wondering, um, we are, we are going to do some farming here, guys. Uh, just not right away. We gotta get, we gotta get roads built. After we get some of our main roads built, um, that we're gonna maybe do a little farming, um, get some more roads built, start asphalting and stuff, uh, putting buildings in. Uh, you know the usual stuff But I got a, I got a lot of exclusive stuff guys. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting uh, But to be honest with you, I'm not sure I kind of want to go get the Scorpion King and clear out these trees first so we can get our shop building in. Um, where we're just going to be working out of the yard here, but uh, I don't know. 
Um, we're going to have to get a, because I don't think these loaders are going to pick up high enough to dump in the back of a truck. Yes, you don't actually have to. I forgot I moved the controls for the excavator. So now this is going to be weird to run. If I can even run it, to tell you the truth. Uh, yeah, that might have messed us up for even running it. Let's see. Yeah, because no button is letting me work that now, which I don't understand it because... Um, Alright, there we go. It's weird. It's definitely weird, guys. Um, that's going to be hard to run like, run that like that. Yeah. That's backwards from anything that should ever be done. <laughs> with, <laughs> with your key bindings for eye lift. But... Man, it's going to be hard. Alright, so... I don't know, with it crushing like this, that might be okay. If not, I got a big mining uh, high load, so. If it comes down to it, we'll just go grab the mining high load. Just wanted to see if the JCB, I know I said it wrong earlier, guys, forgive me. JCB will swim. <laughs> Alright. Now, oh, that's right, I wanted to get the bulldozer up there. Because I want one up there and I want one down here. And I actually think, I think we could use the blade that's on this, guys. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to take... Man, that messed our controls up for this, too, guys. But I'd rather these be messed up than the excavator to be messed up, because I can work with this. I, I can't work with the excavator being messed up. Alright, so... I'll drop that. And we'll just take this, um, that way we, we know it'll push the rocks around without a problem. I got the cameras all over the place, guys, because I gotta, I gotta get used to these controls like this. This is definitely going to be hard to get used to. See, we might be able to use the D11 over in the quarry, but it'll be way too big, uh, way too big to be working the roads with.
see right there on the screen? Is that blade leveler actually working? I don't know. I mean, it's animated. I don't think it's right, though. That's neat. Alright. I knew it would take a while to get everything set up here, but... We can't take too long or government will be all over us. See that guy's that actually uh I think that actually strapped down that bulldozer too. But that blade just strapped. Um which if you know anything about farming sim nineteen, uh bulldozers and stuff don't strap. I tell you what, the John Deere <coughs> excuse me. The John Deere uh Uh, log loader, it does trap down. If you've seen any of my other videos, you, you'd see that. Yeah, that, that actually straps down. It's great. See, I gotta. Uh, I gotta make that disappear too, guys. Uh, and I gotta take these off. I was trying to be realistic, guys, and I have the where you actually have to get out of the tractor to hook up. Um. Your tools and implements manual attach it's called I have that installed but as you see the attach um, icon is popping up and I usually make that disappear when I'm doing videos but you can oh yeah it definitely does have the borders are strapped down that's that's great it's not great right now because I'm trying to get the monster off, but that's what had it strapped down because the ripper is on the dozer. It had the ripper uh, strapped. But guys, um, anyway, the um, drop. that mod for realism there uh, for manual attach is causing that icon to pop back up it should be disappearing with the hub because I have the hub gone and it is not there it goes again so um, I don't think I can change that in the XML files but I'll give it a shot and if not I'll just uninstall that mod because I don't like that popping up in the videos <laughs> um, I unstrapped it, right? Let's check. This one here might be holding on to it, though. Yep. Man, I got I don't know how to get used to it. I don't know if anybody's ever seen the rock quarry on uh, No Man's Land before, but here it is. <laughs> I'm 
not actually a rock quarry, but yeah, we made it one because we got rock. Um, I think, uh, we're pretty much ready for the most part. Um, we'll be loading our rock out from there. Uh, we got a bulldozer to push it up to the excavator. We got the other one over there crushing. Uh, only thing we got to do now is bring our high lift over. But whenever we come over to start our day's work, we can just bring the high lift over with us. I, I really need a string roll, guys. I'm, uh, like, I'm kind of lost right now. <laughs> like, where am I going? Like, wait a minute, where am I going? <laughs> All right, we just came in the back way. I need to zoom in because there's I got way too many things with uh, extras there, causing it to look, look bad. All right, guys, so now all we got to do is take uh, all this here. Um, now this is still a used road, well not this little piece, but that up there, um, like I said, this land is traveled through, that's why the government wants the roads put in, uh, so we're going to still have to cone everything off, um, when we start working on the roads, uh, we got a lot of work ahead of us guys, this is just the beginning, it's going to be great though, that's, we got a nice series coming up ahead of us here, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Uh, get the little uh, last couple little uh, preparations done, and uh, we'll go from there. So if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see what's next, what's coming, hit that subscribe button, and I'm out.